Today is our first day ever visiting Disney World and today we're going to be visiting Magic Kingdom where we can try some fantastic rides, experience amazing shows and have some wonderful food. One candy bacon and one corn dog nuggets. We're so excited to be taking you along with us and sharing this experience. So join us as we start our Disney World series. Morning guys and welcome back to Family of Three. We're here for day number one at Magic Kingdom. Uh, it's the first of our um, parks that we're going to be visiting here at Disney World so uh, we're really looking forward to it. You've just made it into the park and heading to Rope Drop. So we'll catch up with you soon once we're through all the crowds. past rope drop and we're about to head inside our first ride which is going to be the seven dwarfs mining one and it's going to be lots of fun and we're really excited to do it Here they come off their first ride of the day. First ride of the trip as well. Let's see what they thought of it. <laughs> how was that? It was amazing, <laughs> but super scary. Someone forgot how scary it was. <laughs> okay, so we're now heading to my type of ride, something nice and slow. We're going to the Pooh Bear ride. I really like this ride. Um, they have it in a few of their parks. So we're just making our way to the Winnie Pooh ride. So we're just making our way through Little Mermaid at the moment. Um, we have had a couple of breakdowns on the ride, so we're sitting here again um, waiting for it to keep moving, but it's lots of fun, so oh, sounds like we're about to get going again. So we're having a 
blast at the moment. We've been on a few rides already, uh, making our way down towards maybe the carousel and then onto Toy Story. But yeah, we just finished up on Little Mermaid under the sea. Um, a lot of fun, a lot of songs that get stuck in your head. Um, but yeah, lots of fun still anyway. But yeah, we did get stuck on it a couple of times. The um, ride stopped for a few minutes there in between. And but yeah, it's all part of the experience. So yeah, lots of fun. Teacup now. Hopefully, Mason doesn't spin us too fast. <laughs> Not Mason, you're gonna worry about. <laughs> do get very competitive so we didn't film inside there because we all wanted to be in um, full gaming mode to try and beat each other. Uh, as it turns out I did win. I don't know if I got a high scoring target somewhere because I got quite a good score but yeah it was lots of fun, lots of fun. We always enjoy the shooting ones. But now we've made our way over to the People Mover. Um, it's one we've never been to before because it hasn't been at the other Disney parks we've been to. So we're really looking forward to this one as it also gives you a bit of an overlook over the park as well. So yeah looking forward to this one. Okay, so we're on the people mover now, so basically Tess goes on a track all around sort of Tomorrowland. But we're meant to be able to have a really good view, so looking forward to seeing the castle, because I'm pretty sure we go past it. In Tomorrowland. We really love getting to the Disney parks. Um, it's sort of one of our things that we really want to try and achieve. Um, we've been to uh, Disneyland, was our very first park we went to, and also California Adventure while we were there in... Um, LA but then we also managed to get to Hong Kong Disneyland a few years back so this is the third park we've actually been to um, Disney World we're obviously going to the four different parks here while in Orlando um, and if you checked out one of our recent videos you'll also see that we went on the Disney cruise so we're, we're ticking off a lot of the Disney things uh, we still really want to try and get to the other three parks as well um, we'll that leaves us Paris Disney as well as Shanghai Disney and also Tokyo Disney, which all going well. We're really hoping to maybe try and get um, to Japan this coming Christmas. So yeah, really looking forward to trying getting through all the parks. So we're in Liberty Square now and we're making our way over to the Haunted Mansion and um, we've gotten actually quite a lot done in this, um, since we've been here. I think it's almost 10 o'clock now and we've already done six rides. Yeah we didn't think we'd get through that many especially since a couple of them are quite big um, popular rides that normally have big standbys but we managed yeah. to get the one right on opening with our early morning like half hour that we had so yeah it's gone really well so far. Yeah, we didn't think we'd get through this many with the crowds that are here but so far so good. for the Haunted Mansion. I'm really excited as I've only ever been to the Disneyland Haunted Mansion and they had the Christmas overlays in so I have no idea what it will be like as a normal one but I'm really excited for it. This chamber has no windows and no doors. which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. We really loved seeing the Haunted Mansion without the Christmas overlay. It was really fantastic to see. 
So we've gone to Sleepy Hollow and we've picked up chicken and waffles and then like a fruit and waffles and corn dog. Jono's favourite. So we're going to give them a taste. Hopefully they taste good. They do look delicious. And Jono's already had to buy the corn dog and he said it was good. So we've just finished up our meal now and Mama said that her chicken waffle was actually really spicy. It was called a sweet and spicy chicken waffle. So I guess that makes a bit of sense. But yeah, it was quite spicy. And Daddy loved his corn dog as we expected. He just loves his corn dogs. And then my one was full of Nutella and was super good, my Nutella waffle. And I got my daily dose of fruit. Okay, so we're in Adventureland now and we're having so much fun. It's amazing all the theming and decoration there. Oh, here comes Jono now. We're heading off to Pirates of the Caribbean ride. I think it's, was it 50 minute um, wait? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it was. So hopefully it's a bit faster than what it's saying, but it's hard to tell. We'll let you know if it took more than 50 or if less. So we had our first little hiccup of the day and um, we were in queue for Pirates of the Caribbean and it got shut down for maintenance. Um, we lost maybe what 10 minutes, quarter of an hour in the queue but it wasn't too bad considering the queue was about an hour long so some people leave it front for a lot longer. But uh, what that meant was we shot over to Big Thunder Railroad um, and we really loved it. Madison and I went on that one. Um, great fun. It's a cool little roller coaster. Not too big, not too scary or anything like that. But loads of fun. Um, from there we've now made our way back and we're having a go on Aladdin's Magic Carpet, is it? So this is a good little family ride that we'll all have lots of fun on as well. As Daddy said, we've now finished up and we're in line for the Magic Carpets of Aladdin. And I'm excited to go on this one. It'll be quite similar to how Dumbo is and I do love that ride. But Big Thunder Mountain was a really fun ride. I think I preferred it over the Seven Dwarfs one this morning. It was a bit less scarier but quite similar and it was lots of fun. A little update too, we managed to join the one o'clock queue for Tron, the virtual queue. Um, so a ride that you can't just turn up to or wait for, you actually have to join the virtual queue. We missed out on the virtual queue this morning but we managed to get the one o'clock one. So we'll be doing that hopefully sometime later on today as well. Are you guys ready to ride the magic carpet? Yep. After that huge long wait. Yeah. <laughs> How about you Jono? <laughs> <laughs> ah, it was longer than we thought it was going to be, but yeah, it's going to be fun. Way more than 25 minutes. I didn't know we were going to get wet when we joined the queue though, but it should still be good. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Aladdin! Pull down on the left. To make the cabinet to get full. Riders in the back will press that magic skip. Pull up from the magic clip. You're off tag with it. It's really pretty. What price is that? $34.99. Oh, look at that. Oh, my, that's gorgeous. So we were all going to choose a Christmas decoration while we're here this year because we do always choose a decoration each year but we've saved it for um, our trip to Disney. I might have found one right here. Um, I love Chippendale and obviously it's also the Disney 100 at the moment. So that might be my one that I'm going to be choosing. So I've just picked myself up a churro. Last time we were at Disney I absolutely loved churros and I'm super excited to have this one. Yeah, and it also came with a little chocolate sauce as well, didn't it? Yeah. And what's Daddy in the queue for? He's in the queue for some bacon bites and corn dog bites. So that will be interesting to see what they're like. Okay, I'm now going to try my churro. Mm. As good as you remember? Mm -hmm. The same? Different? Mm. I wonder if it's a bit crispier chewier. Yeah. There it is. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> one candy bacon and one corn dog nuggets. There's a lot of corn dog nuggets. <laughs> so what do you think of the candy bacon? It looks like a really thick bit of bacon. Yeah, it's quite thick. I was surprised how thick it was going to be. It's good. I don't know if it's worth the $10 good, but it's good. <laughs> it so much $10 US, so. Whoa. 
Yeah, I, I just as much for like like a thin cooked, nicely crisp piece of bacon. But yeah, no, it is good though. So. Okay, I'm gonna give it a go at one of Jono's corn dogs. See what they're like. His one he had at lunchtime was really good, so it'll be interesting to see what type of sausage is in this one. Hmm, pretty good. I think I prefer the big corn dogs better. There's a lot more batter on them. After our yummy snack, we actually found a spot for the Christmas parade. This is the Christmas parade that you guys are getting to see at the moment. Um, we do actually get to see the normal parade uh, later on in our trip, which we're showing you later on in this video as well. It was incredible. The, the costumes they use and the floats they do, it's so nice. It was really cool. Like, it's been ages since I've been out to see a Disney parade, so it was really good to see one again. I really enjoyed the toy soldier part. That was really clever, the way they make the big clunking noises. But yeah, I'm heading over to Tron because after the parade finished, Madison and Jono um, shot over there because it was their um, boarding time. So I'm heading over there to meet them. And Mess is a little bit nervous about this ride, but she's still going to go on it anyway. And hopefully she enjoys it because this is one of the newer rides. Not long ago we actually watched the movie for the first time. And it was quite a cool movie actually. So I really enjoyed that. But no, it's been such an amazing day. But I've been loving all the bags at the moment, every single one. So I'm being weighed down a lot. But yeah, it's not too hot either, which is good because it might be their winter, but it's sort of their winter is a bit like our summer. So today's a bit cooler. No, I'm looking forward to the park coming darker and seeing all the um, lights all lit up and all the trees lit up. It was going to be lots of fun and seeing the fireworks show at the castle will be amazing. What did you think of it? It was lots of fun. Was it good? That was a good roller coaster. Short but good. <laughs> Okay, so we've just hopped onto Liberty Square River Boat, and this one's Liberty Bow. We're just going to do a little cruise around the little island in the middle, and all the lights are starting to slowly come on because it's getting a bit darker, and it's looking very pretty. I must say, that's the thing I love about Disney so much is the details are everything. Even down to this wall that I'm looking at out in front of me, it's so perfectly done. But yeah, I'm looking forward to going on this boat because I've never been on one of these before, so it's going to be a new experience. But yeah, we had a few little spits just before, but it seems to have stopped and hopefully it holds itself for the show tonight. When planning the trip, um, we really had some key rides that we wanted to do, but we also made sure we left lots of time just for things like this. It's, I think it's about slowing down and just taking things in and really enjoying the trip. It's what makes Disney quite special and unique that you can just really take in everything that it's got to offer. So we've made our way onto Swiss Family Robinson, the treehouse. Um, it is night time, but it's all lit up by lanterns by the looks of it. So we, it's going to be quite interesting to have a look at, because I think the last little treehouse we did at Disneyland was during the day. So this should be quite cool. As we had some spare time before the show, we decided to check out the Swiss Family Robinson. Um, it's really quite unique because the other two that we've been to in both California and Hong Kong were the Tarzan themed ones. So it was nice to check this one out as well. From here we're going to make our way across to the um, castle because we're going to be checking out the Christmas show. Miss friends! Hi everybody! Welcome to our most Christmas, 
Well, that was a fantastic show, and afterwards we got to see it snowing down Main Street before we headed closer to the castle to see the amazing Christmas fireworks show. the fireworks show and now we're in line for Pirates of the Caribbean. It's a much shorter line than it was earlier today and we're now about to hop on. So that's the wrap on our first day at Magic Kingdom. In this next part of the video, it's actually our second day, which is further on in our trip. So we actually get to see a lot more of Disney without um, the Christmas stuff. So they're slowly um, removing lots of the Christmas stuff. So it was nice to be able to see it in both sort of atmospheres. So we got to finally walk through the castle. It's actually quite hard to get into because um, a lot of the time it's closed off, but it's quite amazing once you're inside with all the mosaics and the pictures and everything that are on the walls. Uh, but yeah, we did plan our trip um, specifically to have four days just sort of after Christmas so that we could get to experience the Christmas overlay, but also then four days later on our trip, we returned to like the parks once each day um, just so that we could experience it in the new year as it would normally be. So we got to meet quite a variety of characters. Um, we saved it sort of for the second set of four days so we could just really take our time and enjoy them. Um, and yeah, we got to meet a good variety. There was lots around the parks, um, lots of unusual ones that we hadn't met before as well. So nice to meet up with them also. So we made our way to Gaston's Tavern to try the grey stuff. We really um, enjoyed the grey stuff in Disneyland. Um, in here at um, Disney World, it's actually more of a cupcake with grey icing on it. It was still really good, but we all sort of said we preferred the Disneyland one. But it was still great to actually get to eat in um, Gaston's Tavern. Welcome aboard the world famous Jingle Cruise. My name is Skipper Sean. I'll be your ho ho host for uh, as far as we get. We're now entering the Amazon rainforest. Oh, that pride of lions kindly invited that zebra over for Christmas dinner. How sweet. <laughs> I'm kidding, he's dead. Tired. Dead tired. Relative well, rest in peace. So we really enjoyed the Jungle Cruise. It's always a lot of fun, all the jokes they make. It's always a bit of a laugh. But then we headed over to Rapunzel's area. It's all this themed area with all like the lanterns and then a bit of her castle, but it is only actually a toilet. So it's a pretty fancy area for a toilet and a place that you can sit in and have a little break. But in the evening, it all lights up and you can actually go in and get a photo with the lantern.
So we checked out the Main Street Parade. Um, this is the normal parade that runs at Disney World. Um, as I, We did get to see the Christmas-themed one earlier in the trip. But yeah, this one's fantastic to see as well. Um, again, there's so many floats coming along, so many characters. It's just nice to be able to slow down and take it in and really get a feel for it. Like you've got to hand it to like the characters as well. Like They're so interactive and so friendly and... They say they're always waving out and things like that. So, yeah, just nice to be able to normally have some food with you, have a bit of a bite to eat, um, and just take it all in while you have a bit of a rest as well. Show called Carousel of Progress. Oh, just a dream of Electric lights? No more kerosene. The Carousel of Progress was a new ride for us again, not one that we'd seen at any of the other parks. But once we finished up there, we did grab ourselves a little bit more food um, and made our way across to, it's like a little mini parade that they do with pretty much just characters making their way around. So again, a perfect chance to see some of the more unusual characters that you don't normally get to see throughout the rest of the parks. Madison even got to see one of her favourite characters, uh, Stitch, and we also got to see a lot of the Zootopia characters, which again aren't really throughout the park, um, unless you visit, I believe it's Shanghai, we've recently got Zootopia added. Uh, but yeah, you get to see a lot of the unique characters and really enjoy them for what they are. So we're closing out the video here. It's actually our second day here at Magic Kingdom as we wanted to film some more stuff that we didn't get around to on our first day. Yeah, we had a magical time here on our first day. We got through tons and tons of stuff, um, more than we'd hoped, uh, which means our second day here has been quite relaxing. Um, we could take our time and just do some things that we really want to sort of do and only a couple of rides that we hadn't got, got done. So yeah, it's been a wonderful day today. Yeah, it's been lots of fun, but I hope you can please like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.